What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Bud Kelly. Who you with? Who you with? And I am not here to waste your time. This video is a baby trying tutorial with no samples, and this was recommended by Nanny Boy. Nanny Boy, that was a good ass idea, bro. I like this one. So, without further ado, let's play the motherfucking beat. Boom, you get the point, you get the fucking point. Now let's bust this beat down, let's get to it. So one thing I noticed about 80s music is it's very upbeat and triumphant sounding. You know what I'm saying? It's like, boom, you know what I'm saying? It's, don't get me wrong, 80s songs do sound sad, but most of them are like, when I think of the traditional 80s sound, it's kind of upbeat and bright. And that is because it's a lot of it's in a major key. The major key is like this. Here's C major. Here's an easy one, C major. All motherfucking white notes. You cannot fuck it up. You cannot fuck it up. So that's what we're gonna be using for this video. Listen to the main melody. That's it. We went at the one. Then we went to the six. Then we went to the five. Then back to the six. And we just put a little rhythm between it. If you notice, they don't just go all the way through. It gets da 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 da. That rhythm that makes it easy for you to groove and move to. That's a big thing with 80s music. You gotta have a motherfucking groove to that shit, cause that shit fast and motherfucker wanna move around. And by the way, look at the tempo, it's 124. It's actually quite fast. I got it in single time. So in double time, it'll be double that. Get you a nice rapid bass melody or some synth, whatever you is, just make it rapid and rhythmic. So I don't know if this is a traditional 80s sound, just took some kind of plucky bell. Just get a plucky bell from some motherfucking way. And what we did is instead of playing at the one, which is the C major, we went down to the six. And the six in the major is a, is a minor key, a minor chord. So we just went boom at the bottom, then the top of that uh, chord, boom, 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 boom. And then at the end, we did that. Yeah, pretty simple. That's pretty self-explanatory. It was just something that had something there. Fun part, the drums. Do some kicks. Dun, 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 dun. The kick is just accent and everything else. But once you got once you got the, the the that shit, I mean that's easy. That's like you pounding on the table when you was a kid. You know what I'm saying? So the kicks. The claps. Hi hats. Hi hats is going all the way across. Right? Now you hear that? That is a nice little, you know, nice little vintage snare. Now I'm gonna show you what we got there from. We got that from FL Studio Stock Sounds. So go to Legacy. So, okay, so go to Packs. Boom, go to Legacy. Boom, go to motherfucking drums. Go to Vintage. Scroll all the way to the bottom and VTSD2. There you go. So back to the beat, we added zaps. Every little part helps. Every little part. And then you got a little, you got a little cowbell that's gonna come in. Simple, you heard it? I'm gonna take the drum, I'm take the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the kicks out. All right, here's another thing we add. It's like a, a tom, it's like doo doo doo, watch. You hear that? Doo -doo -doo. That's like a very classic, more like a, I guess more like a 90s dance, Africa Bambada type sound. And how we accomplish that is we started from the A. The A. Use the bottom octave, then move it up to the next octave, up, then back down. That's it. Simple, simple, fucking simple. And then we added some clavs at the end of it. Just, that's just something I personally like to do, but you know, it just... Just do perks, man. Just do perks. Not the drug, you know, that's that's your shit. But just do percussions, I should say. Now we got another melody we threw in there. This one. I figured it was just really cool. Like I I, I heard like in like old sound and dance dance songs, it's like you have like the section here. You know what I'm saying? Right? And then it just jump into a whole new part. It was that one song, remember that one song? It was like That's what made me want to do that shit. So what we did there is we started at the six again. And with this shit, we walked that bitch up. That 
That's it. It's just a little walkie uppy down and shit. Just play with some shit to the shit sound right, motherfucker. Yeah, one more thing, which is I have some times that go do 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 do. That's a very 80s thing. Listen. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you what that is. So I pretty much started at the scale, the one. I started at the one of the scale, and I just walked that bitch down the scale because I know this, I know this, and you should know this. If you stay in the scale, you cannot fuck it up. You can't fuck it up. I'm telling you. Now to find a tom, because I got this from a Lex Luger kit, but I'm gonna show you where you can find the tom at. Go to drums. Mo, I, mm, I don't know what's the difference between that drums and that drums. Maybe it's the same shit. I don't know. Maybe you got that. But hit drums. Go to times. Okay. That has times. But go to drums mode audio if you have it. And if not, just look up 80s fucking times somewhere. But look. There's a whole shit right there dedicated to times. Have at it. Have at it. So yeah, I think that's everything, man. We just, we really, yeah. That's everything in the beat. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed this baby trying tutorial without samples. Let me know if this helped you out. And remember, all this shit is simple. You and I are the problem. But Kelly out. Peace.